Addressing what he described as one of Ecuador's biggest crises in recent decades, Guillermo Lasso takes matters into his own hands. The Ecuadorian president deploying a new joint unit of police and the military to a prison in Guayaquil. Yo mismo. I, myself, will assume the national coordination for armed forces. Public security is now priority number one in this presidential office. Those who are violent won't match our unified action. We are totally determined to bring an end to their days of total impunity. The unit of 1,000 men entered the Guayas 1 prison for an operation aimed at retaking control of the jail's external and internal perimeters. Guillermo Lasso's announcement came after he accepted the resignation of the heads of the armed forces and the prison services following a wave of unprecedented riots. Over the weekend, fighting left 68 prisoners dead and 24 injured. And in total, more than 320 prisoners have been killed in similar incidents this year alone. Clash's officials largely blame on drug cartels. In recent years, the influence of narco-traffickers has grown in the small South American country. Nestled between Colombia and Peru, the world's biggest cocaine producers, drug seizures in Ecuador hit a record of 155 tons between January and October of 2021.